I've been making a game that's inspired by Kingdom Hearts, which is my childhood game that I still love to this day. Since last time, I've done a lot of changes to the combat system that have made the gameplay so much more deeper. First thing, I finally figured out the lock-on system. It took me so long to get it right, and I couldn't have done it without the help of Pandan, who's making a Jack and Dexter inspired game. One day, as I was scrolling through Twitter, I just happened to stumble upon Pandan's video of their lock-on system that they've been developing, which is very close to the one found in Kingdom Hearts 2. And after spending over a year trying to figure out the lock-on system, I was close to giving up. But when I found Pandan's video, I was overjoyed, and especially that they were working on Unreal Engine, just like I am. And so I quickly reached out to them and asked if they could share with me how they were able to make the lock-on system. And I was happy to find out that Pandan was really nice and was willing to share with me the code that they used to make their lock-on system. And after implementing it into Luminous Realms and doing a few changes to make it work more like the way I wanted it to, I was able to finally implement it properly. And actually, I wasn't the only one who was working on this. Since the end of last year, I've actually started to work with another programmer, and his name is Sabishi, who I found on Twitter, who's actually also making his own game, an Unreal Engine, that is inspired by Zelda Breath of the Wild. When I first found his game, I was quite inspired by the way he was making his game and all the progress he was doing, so we got in touch. And eventually, I offered him to join me in making Luminous Realms. And since the end of last year, we've been working together and he's been helping me out a bunch with programming a lot of the systems in the game. And one of the first things that he worked on was the new lock-on system. By the way, it would be really awesome if you could hit the wishlist button on my Steam page. That way you will know when the game comes out and also when the game is discounted so that you can get the game at the best time possible. After that, I started working on the parry system, which is really important for any action game, especially a game that's inspired by Kingdom Hearts, which has a very interesting parry system. And the way I set it up is that when fighting enemies, if you're able to hit them before they finish their attack, depending on whether the attack is strong or weak, the player will either interrupt their attack or both the player and the enemy get parried, just like you see here. Alongside the parry system, we also added a complex knockback system. Previously, you would just get pushed back whenever you get hit. But now, depending on the direction you're facing, there will be a different animation for the knockback. And certain knockbacks will make you fly much higher in the air or much further away, and a different animation would play as well, making it feel more interesting and look better as well. Another really important system is being able to push enemies around as you're walking through them and around them. Previously, you would just get stuck between them and they would just all gather around you and you wouldn't be able to escape. But now you're able to push them around as you walk through them or around them. And this made movement during combat so much more smooth and fun. And depending on the enemy size, it might be harder to push them around. And sometimes when there is a huge boss, you won't be able to push them around. So we can adjust the weight depending on how big the enemy is. You can also get early access to the game by going to my Discord and requesting a key. There you'll also be able to discuss and give feedback about the game. Next I went back to working on the UI system and I added an ability menu. This was something I was really looking forward to adding to the game. Because with this now, the level of system in the game makes more sense where you get AP points or action points that you can use to equip different kind of abilities. And this would also add a new layer to the combat system where depending on the enemy you fight, you would equip different kind of action and support abilities that give you the upper hand in certain scenarios and situations. And in the future, I'll add the item system as well where you can equip armor, accessories, items, and also different weapons. And I'm really looking forward to adding that. Next, we added a new intricate damage system where previously the enemies would just punch you or slash you. But now, things like ground slams and also environmental fire that can damage you regardless whether the enemy is there or not, where the fire would be independent of the enemy and would damage you when you come into contact with it. With these new ways of damaging, I'll be able to add new ways to damage the player and have more complex enemies that have different kind of abilities. I then went back to the UI system again and this time I did a complete overhaul of the look of the UI and now I've made it fit the story and theme of my game more. Where previously it was just a generic UI and buttons that I had in the game, now it has a whole theme, feeling and look to it. And I was able to do this because I finally figured out the story for the game and I've been working on writing the overarching story of the game with all different characters and scenarios. And thanks to that I was able to add a unique looking UI design that fits my story because previously I didn't have the story fully established yet along with its theme but now that I have established the story along with its theme and characters I'm able to choose a certain design. I'm not ready to talk about the story yet but hopefully with the next devlog I'll be able to talk more about the story and the world and how I'm gonna theme everything. And that's what I'll be working on next where I'll start designing new playable areas and actually start to implement some environment art into them so we're no longer stuck with these grey box <laughs> looking levels and have actual nice looking environments and levels for you to walk around in and I can't wait to share that with everyone.
And from the UI and this test environment I made, you might be able to guess the theme and atmosphere I'm going for in my story. If you're also interested in supporting the development of Luminous Realms, you can head over to my Patreon, where you can also get early sneak peeks of the game's progress, concept art, alongside other updates. And you don't even have to pay anything. There's also a free membership where you'll be able to get some of the sneak peeks for free. So feel free to join the free membership if the paid memberships are not to your liking. But if you decide to join the paid memberships, you'll get your name added to my videos and the game's credits. And you'll also get a shout out at the end of my videos. Just like these awesome gold Patreon supporters that have been supporting me for so long. Legend64, Ejaz, Cobra Code, Brett Cronin, Supersonic, Nathan Osworth, Carrick Lamb, Maxter Brian, and Pleo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace!